We live in a world more connected than ever before. Right now, we could be on a Zoom conference, a video call with 100 participants, every one of them with their camera on, no issues. When I was a teenager, video calls over Skype looked like they were filmed on a potato and my computer sounded like a jet plane was taking off, just trying to run the software. It's amazing how much technology has changed. Some of your teachers will remember a time where just to phone somebody, the phone had to be connected by a cord to the wall at all times. You know, with social media platforms like TikTok and Snapchat and Instagram, we now have more access into each of our lives and each of our friends' lives than we have ever had before. Right now, exactly where you're sitting, you can pull out your phone really easily, send one of your favorite memes to a group chat with all of your friends, and they will see it instantly and be able to respond and laugh instantly. Globalization is increasing at a phenomenal rate. Our world is becoming more and more interconnected in every aspect of our lives just because of the internet, mobile phones, social media. It's amazing how connected we are right now. So here's a question. What could possibly go wrong? In 2019, the Young Australian Loneliness Survey showed that a significant proportion of young Victorians reported problematic levels of loneliness. One in six adolescents. That's one in six people between the age of 12 to 17. And one in three young adults, that's people between the ages of 18 to 25, reported that they were lonely. That means that right now, one out of every six people in your class feels alone. I want you to think about this question for a second. In a world that is more connected than ever before, why are people so lonely? I believe that thanks to the internet and social media apps, we have created a false economy of connectedness. We find value in ourselves based on how many likes or comments our photos on Instagram or our videos on TikTok receive. Our popularity is based upon how many followers we have as individuals. I've found myself falling into this trap too. Every time I post a, a video on TikTok, I find myself refreshing the page, closing the app, opening it back up again, just trying to see whether it's received any more views or any more likes. It's normal. It happens to the best of us. You know, there's a song I like by an artist called Love that really highlights this issue in today's society. It's called Modern Loneliness. Modern loneliness, we're never alone, but always depressing. Love my friends to death, but I never call and I never text. So Modern loneliness, I'm never alone, I'm always depressed. I love my friends to death, but I never call and I never text. You know, it's true. Thanks to social media, we are never alone. We always have connections to somebody in our lives and one of our friends. But yet at the same time, there are high levels of loneliness and depression. High levels of people feeling like although we're connected, we aren't connected at all. Now more than ever, people are feeling alone. You know, as we sit at home, alone in isolation, it gives us time to think about our lives and it gives us time to think about our friendships. Why has nobody reached out? Why hasn't somebody called? Why didn't my friend text me today? We start to miss interaction and we miss the people that we're around. And now more than ever, people are feeling lonely. I want to remind you of one of my favorite verses. It's found in Joshua 1 verse 9 and it says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. It's kind of funny that right now we can't go very far. Wherever we go might be limited to our own house in isolation or going for a walk and exercising. But we can be comforted to know that even in those times where we're feeling alone and isolated, God is with us that we are not alone. I'm going to give you four tips on how you can beat loneliness. Just to start with, number one, focus. 
focus on building quality relationships with the people around you. It's not about the quantity, it's not about how many friends you have, but it's about having good quality friendships with people. Number two, act. Feeling lonely is normal. Now is the time to act on it. Now is the time to do something different with your friendships to build those quality relationships. Act on it. Tip number three, speak. Speak to somebody. You know, finding somebody to talk to about your struggles can actually help to alleviate those feelings of loneliness when you get it off your chest and you find somebody to share with. So speak, find somebody to talk to. Number four, reach out. Instead of waiting for somebody to contact you and check up on you, I want you to think about somebody in your life that you might be able to contact, that you might be able to reach out to and check up on them. See if they're okay, see if they're lonely, and see if they need somebody, a friend, to help them. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 27 verse 17, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another person. You know, this is a really important principle. We need each other. We need community. We need friends. Let's work together. Let's support each other. Let's check in on other people. And let's make sure that nobody goes through this time alone. Yeah.